Welcome, 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 welcome. It's been way too long, two as in two weeks long. Uh, I haven't really recorded since uh, the football game, since the playoffs. I didn't even go live like I intended for the Super Bowl. But anywho, I am back. Had a lot to do, like always. But we are back. A lot has happened since I've been gone from these YouTube streets. But uh, I was here and I saw the story and I just figured... Why not? Even though maybe you could argue bigger stories than this. Well, bigger stories than this has happened. There's no arguing that. KD going to Phoenix, uh, Kyrie going to uh, Dallas, Brooklyn not broken because they still have some pieces there, but definitely not a uh, championship team. Definitely that experiment. Uh, it's definitely a failed experiment. And to no fault of Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant, that's all on the Brooklyn Nets, in my opinion. But the story I wanted to talk about was this <clears throat> Russell Westbrook planning to sign with L.A., not the Lakers, of course, but the Clippers, because the Lakers traded him to Utah for D'Angelo Russell in the three-team trade. Uh, this story broke earlier today. Of course, Woj from ESPN uh, it says, after completing a contract buyout, nine-time All-Star guard Russell Westbrook plans to sign with the LA Clippers his agent uh Jeff Schwartz Jeff Schwartz of XL Sports to ESPN with Westbrook and the Utah Jazz finalizing the buyout on the remaining uh, 47 million dollars owed on his expiring deal the former NBA MVP will return to Los Angeles this time with the Clippers he was officially waived by the Jazz on Monday afternoon the league announced so Westbrook waved by Utah. I never thought, I don't think any of us thought he would play there. We know that that's not a place he wants to be. We know his history in Utah with those people. Quite frankly, I don't blame Russell Westbrook. I wouldn't want to play in Utah either. Uh, the Clippers became increasingly interested in, with Russell Westbrook as team officials, including coach Ty Lue and uh, president of basketball operations, Lawrence Frank dug into a series of conversations with Westbrook, sources said. Those discussions centered on Westbrook's willingness to fit into a clear and specific role with the Clippers built around his playing, rebounding, and toughness, sources said. And that's exactly what a guy like Russell Westbrook, uh, that's exactly the type of team the Clippers are, and that's what Russell Westbrook can bring to the Clippers. Uh, they tried with John Wall, uh, didn't work out, just the injuries, John Wall, uh, tough, tough, tough uh, near ending for uh, John Wall. We know what he's had to deal with with the injuries and things like that, but um, we, when you saw them clearing the deck, you knew that they were potentially uh, going after Russell Westbrook, and they definitely were, but uh, like the article said, um, his role built around his playmaking and rebounding the toughness. I think it's a a great fit for us. I think it's a great fit. We'll get to more of that later. This article is not long at all, so we'll just finish it up. Uh, Westbrook 34 joins a Clipper core that has championship aspirations and includes his former Thunder teammate, Paul George. They did play in Oklahoma City for about, what, two or three years? PG wasn't on the team when Westbrook won MVP, though. I think he came after that. Yeah, I think he came because KD left in 16. He joined the Warriors in 16 and Westbrook won MVP that same season, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, anyway, Westbrook had discussed deals with the Chicago Bulls, Washington Wizards and Miami Heat in recent days. But the chance to compete for a championship and remain in Los Angeles played a significant part in his decision to choose the Clippers, sources said. Uh, the article goes on to say the Los Angeles Lakers traded Russell Westbrook and uh, 2027 first round draft pick to the Jazz part of a three team deal Wednesday uh, after a tumultuous season plus with the Lakers Westbrook took time to uh, decompress and consider his possibilities Westbrook embraced a six man role for the Lakers averaging uh, 16 points, six rebounds, and seven and a half assists, and 28.7 minutes per game. Jazz CEO Danny Ainge, GM Justin Zank, Zanik, 
and coach uh, Will Hardy told Westbrook on Friday that they would welcome him reporting to the team, but the organization was prioritizing and playing its younger players and would make uh, no assurance on minutes or role size, sources said. Uh, yeah, so I do, I do like this fit. I like Westbrook with the Clippers. I think he brings a, a certain grit with this LA team. If you remember, I just throw it out there. I did pick the Clippers to make it to the NBA Finals and win it this year against the Philadelphia 76ers. I know last year after the All-Star break, I uh, re-did my predictions, but I'm not going to do that this year. I'm going to stick with what I uh, have. And now you can refer back to that video, Uh, but I do have Clippers and uh, Sixers in the Finals. But I like Westbrook with this team. As a Laker fan, I I feel like uh, Russ did, you know, he, he got a lot of unfair criticism. A lot of people made a joke out of him. And you knew that if, if there was somebody who was going to be scapegoated uh, for the Lakers not living up to the expectations of last year and then this year being what they are, it was going to be Russell Westbrook. You just knew it was going to be Russell Westbrook. But, I, I and I think that when he succeeds here, a lot of, you're going to hear a lot of people saying that you know, there's always an excuse when it comes to LeBron, right? But you're going to hear a lot of people saying that he uh, he's playing good now, but you know, there's it, there's pressure playing with LeBron James and he just couldn't live up to it, which is just, it's going to be the stupidest thing you ever heard. But I think that's the narrative they're going to go when Westbrook fits right in with this team because this team is grittier. They are better than the Lakers and Westbrook is going to feel right at home because he doesn't have to deal with the politics of playing across the hall for the Lakers and not for the Lakers as in just the Lakers, but the Lakers with LeBron James. So I think he's going to fit right in here. I think they play the Lakers once more this season uh, in like March or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, whatever, that game, we know the Clippers are going to win. The Lakers ain't beating no Clippers. <laughs> the Clippers are just a better team. But, uh, yeah, I, I can't wait to see, you know, I haven't been into basketball since the Kyrie thing, like really into it like that. I've caught a couple games here and now, but since they, when they did what they did to Kyrie laying out those list of demands, I just soured on it. And I haven't been uh, as passionate about it uh, since, but I am going to be, I am looking forward to seeing the second half of this season and we'll see what next year bring because I'm just not passionate about this anymore. And we'll just, have to see how it play out, but I'll just put it out there and be honest with you. Um, but uh, yeah, and in terms of everything else, the Lakers, it's, they made a bunch of trades. No excuses. LeBron says something along the lines of he's preparing for the most important games of his, of his life. You know, he says something stupid after every all-star break when the team sucks or struggling and whatnot most important games of his life but it's, it's like yo okay even before even before the trades if you got LeBron and AD you have more than enough to at least be a playoff team and this wasn't even a playoff team but the reason I'm 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 taking the stance that I that I take is because people blaming everyone but this guy LeBron James they blame everyone but him it's everyone else's fault oh the front office has done him a disservice this is a shame what they've done to him in year 20 and age 38. So you have no more excuses. You had none previously. You had none last year. You have no excuses on why you can't even make the playoffs to be what? What are they? Let's go to it. 13th in the West, even before Russ was traded even before the trades they got Mobamba they got D'Angelo Russell they got uh Vanderbilt they got a lot of good guys a lot of guys who can play they got Reeves back 13th in the west no excuse for that there's no reason Portland or Utah it's funny to see Portland and Utah out of the playoff and play-in picture and you know after uh in the beginning of the season when they were like so hot people thought oh people uh you know that they were going to like be this awesome team and whatnot, but a lot of us knew that they were going to eventually come back down to earth, and that's exactly where Portland and Utah are, but they are above the Lakers in the standings. 
The Lakers are 13th in the West. The Sun, the Spurs and Rockets have no chance of passing them. They're comfortably ahead of them, but that's not saying anything at all whatsoever under no circumstances or nothing like that. That's nothing. But you're 13th in the West. You're not even a play-in team, and we know how I feel about the play-in tournament. I hate it. I think it's stupid, but it's there, so we'll talk about it. But you're not over Portland. You're not over Utah. You're not over the Thunder, who are currently in the play-in. What does Oklahoma City have that that you don't have? People make it sound like if if, if you do LeBron James on the Thunder roster, they would be this championship level type team. Or if you threw LeBron James in Minnesota, they would be a championship team. When that narrative is just false. Anyway, I don't want to go off the rails on that, but my point to say all of this is, what excuse do you have now? Sacramento are the three seed, but they, they haven't run away with anything. And so I know divisions doesn't mean anything in the NBA, but the Lakers 27 and 32, the Kings 32 and 25. They don't have a comfortable lead. There's nothing comfortable about Sacramento's lead in the Pacific because the Clippers are right, have one more win than them, but they just have a few uh, more losses than the Kings. The Suns are coming back up with KD. The Warriors are like no one is running away with anything in the West. And if the Lakers are not a play in team or especially a playoff team, what are we saying now? The West is not. Denver is the top team in that conference, but I don't take the Nuggets serious. I don't take them serious at all. So this this Laker team shit, you know, people are talking about playoffs and, and playing in playoffs. Why can't why shouldn't they be? And I think the Clippers are gonna make the finals, but, but why why can't they be a championship contender? Why aren't we holding them to that standard? They got LeBron James, but they're twenty seven and thirty two. Russell Westbrook still in L A. Just with the Clippers, I love it because I cannot wait to see them shine and show out. And, and just see what excuses they come up with next. But uh, yeah, that's all I want to talk about. We'll get into more as the second half of the season go on. It's going to be a short uh, second half because there's not much regular season basketball left. So <laughs> the Lakers can't afford, you know, matter of fact, let's look at what they got coming up before we get out of here because they cannot afford to be losing that many more games. What do they have remaining? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, about 23 games, 24 games remaining. And they got some bangers. At right, Golden State this Thursday in LA, three game road trip at Dallas, at Memphis, at OKC. Then they got Minnesota, Golden State, and Memphis and Toronto, and the Knicks. All of those games are home games, all six of those. So six straight home games, and then at New Orleans, at Houston, Dallas, Orlando, Phoenix, Oklahoma City, Chicago twice, Minnesota, Houston again, Utah, Clippers, Suns, Utah to end the season. You have no excuse for why you should not be in the playoffs. Screw the play in. You have no excuse whatsoever. Even before this trade went down, there is no excuse to be 13th in the West to where you're not better than the Thunder. You're not better than Utah. You're not better than uh, Portland. No reason for this whatsoever. But that's all the time I'm going to take on this. Appreciate y'all for hearing me out. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. And we will talk soon. Peace.